first home and it was, you know, intended to be a starter home. We purchased that back in 2015. It was a 1700 square foot home in a really beautiful community here in um, the Huntersville, North Carolina area. And we knew it was just going to be a five to seven year plan uh, to kind of get us started through our network of people that we knew who had built Schumacher Homes continuously came up. And so we had three different people over the last five to six years who have built a, a home with Schumacher. So um, what we did was we went and we looked at their homes. They invited us in to kind of get, show us the quality of their homes. And I was instantly impressed um, with the overall quality, you know, the overall product. And um, from there, we went in and actually made an appointment to go into Schumacher. And we met with Bud, who is, you know, one of the sales associates out of the um, Mooresville office, who is fantastic. And we went through and really built out what our dream home would be with him. Just simply realizing that for the overall cost, after getting our initial quote to build, um, that was going to be the exact same amount as the cost that we were looking at buying a, a 30 year old home that needed a bunch of improvements to it. So well, what I should say is after even meeting with Bud, what we did was we went back through everything. Now that we had exposure to what all decisions we were, we were going to be able to make. Um, we went back through and we said, what are the must-haves for us? And then from there, what would be the nice to have? And we started with the, the obviously the must-haves and making sure that every single component that we wanted in our, in our home, that was incorporated into the overall quote. And then we looked to see, well, where does that put us in comparison to our budget? And then from there, we were still able to move forward with some of the nice to haves. Um, but we also then had to cut out some of the nice to haves and say, hey, we're going to have to save something like this for a later date um, once we're in and everything and we've got the ability to afford to do that. So um, we definitely went through, created a, a, you know, this is a priority. We need to have the, all these things in the home and then our kind of our wish list from there. I think it was when we went in to choose all the design selection, like we went into the design selection at that point. Um, well, we, I guess we had already signed obviously before our design. What I think what it did for us was we had the contract back from, from Bud and we hadn't signed it yet. And we had one home that came up on the market that at the time seemed to be the one that was closest to what we wanted. So we went and we, we, you know, looked at that house and we said, oh, wow. Okay. This is a, a home that we're actually interested in putting an offer on. So we made, or, or we're intending to make an offer. And um, our agent basically said, we have until noon tomorrow, you know, to put our offer forward. And so we connected with him first thing in the morning to start drafting the offer. And while we were doing that, he got a call that said, well, they ended up deciding that they were accepting another offer and didn't want to wait around for years. And I looked at my husband and I said, we are building. At this point, that, like, that was kind of just like the last the last straw that broke the camel's back in the hunt for a new home, if we were just going to buy one. Um, and I said, at this point in time, you know, I, I, we felt like we gave it our best shot to try to find something that we could just buy without, you know, going through the entire you know, home building process. But once that happened, we looked at each other and we said, we're building like <laughs> at this point. The selections, and I can tell you, Kat and the team there at the Mooresville location, they were probably so sick and tired of me because <laughs> I went in four or five times. Um, like 
the first time I went in, we went in obviously to meet with Kat. And I think it's a usually like a three hour, a three yeah. hour meeting. My husband left at the three hour mark to go pick up our son from daycare. And I was there for three more hours with her. And a lot of it is because this was a brand new process for us. And like I told you, like we knew what we wanted for a lot of things, but even when we then went from meeting with Bud to then going through and choosing everything for at the design center, there were still so many more things that I hadn't even then thought of that we would be responsible for making decisions on. So um, Kat was amazing, took her time, literally walked me through every single component, um, showed me, you know, if I said, that's not exactly what I'm looking for, I'm looking for something a little bit more like this, you know, she would go through the rows and rows of different tile pieces until we found truthfully, like the one that I was like, that is it, you know, um, from there, I probably made about four or five adjustments and edits. I would go back in because a prime example, I chose a lower level quartz for our countertops in the kitchen. And I chose it to try and get us a little bit, you know, closer to our budget. But the real one that I wanted was I think like a level four. And, you know, when I started going through everything, I was like, okay, I'm going to choose the level four level two stuff, you know, max level three for certain things. Well, then after, you know, a couple of weeks and I sat on it and I said, what are you doing? You want, you want that particular, you know, that particular product, just going, just, just get it. You know, it may be another thousand dollars at the end of the day, but if you look at a 30 year mortgage, it's pennies, you know? So I ended up going back a couple of times and saying, you know what, Kat, I'm going to do the level four for this. Uh, that's what I really, really want. And at this point, let's just change this out and go with that. Just the land and we had the land for months. So the, to see just the foundation going in, we were like, oh my gosh, it gets, this is actually really happening, <laughs> you know? Um, for me, I think what really, really made it was actually walking in to see walls and paint on the walls. When I saw that, I think that was the moment where I, I was blown away with how beautiful the home was as it was still empty, but paint on the walls and the flooring was down. And I, that's where it like all came to life for me because it, you know, when you're sitting there and you're seeing, you know, the studs and you kind of can sense, all right, this is this room, you know, this is this room. Once you see the walls there now, and then you see the paint, it's just like, this is exactly what I wanted, <laughs> you know? So that was an awesome moment as well. And I think the thing that to me shows through the most is the quality, the quality of a Schumacher home. I mean, you, in my opinion, it is top of the line. See, for example, like the Island that we have, the kitchen Island, this is to me like a one of a kind Island. I've never seen an Island this big, you know, with the deluxe kitchen, I've never seen an Island this big anywhere else in any other home that I've been to. And it's really a focal point when you walk into our great room and you are, you see our kitchen, you know, right beyond it, your attention is immediately goes to this massive, beautiful Island. We have this incredible step in ceiling in our living room, in our great room with these beautiful open windows, right? We have more light in this home just natural light coming through these gorgeous, huge windows. Um, so it's, I think it's things like that, that just make the overall quality feel so fantastic, you know, um, as you're just walking around.